as a severely mentally ill person who is blind and homeless and just completely unsupported, except for my friend Jim. Thank you, Jim. I uh, regularly have crises. And uh, I have thoughts about suicide all the time. And the Social Security lawyer 10, 10 years ago said, it's not a matter of if I'm going to commit suicide. It's a matter of when. And I think he's very, very right. Every time I have reached out and tried to get help, 911, you know, they send out a cop and I can either go to the shelter or the hospital. You want to go to the shelter? You want to go to the hospital? Well, I've been to the hospital eight times. What are they going to do for me the ninth time that they haven't done the previous eight times? I was literally raped the last time I went to the hospital. Literally. Anally violated. So, if... Why would I go back to the hospital if they failed me eight times? And why, why would I go to a shelter when my consistent experience at the shelters is that some crackhead is going to be yelling and screaming at the top of his lungs at two or three in the morning about how much he loves methamphetamines. And I've literally had that exact experience at least twice in two different states. This methamphetamines must be some great shit. I'm not going to try it, but my God. You know, people have some desire to live to keep doing it. Maybe that's what I need to do to find a purpose in life. Maybe I should just become a junkie piece of trash. Completely worthless in every other way. Not going to do that. But I'm sure after calling 988, specifically 988, the suicide and crisis hotline. I've been hung up on by them told that I was, you know, transferred to the, you're pranking us, that's, that's a crime, your, your number has been logged and reported to the police, blah, 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 transferred to the patronizing mental health meditation recordings, blah, 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 blah. And I tell you, every single time, um, yeah, without exception, every single time I have reached out to 988 suicide crisis line, I have been pushed one that much closer to suicide i am calling them to try to get help but they patronize me condescend tell me I, I i can't use this language or that language or blah 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 i can't express what has happened to me i can't express how i feel i'm not allowed to i cannot use language that offends the person on the other end of the phone or could be considered to be offensive because this is the rainbow horseshit world we live in now. The 911 suicide crisis line can't handle a bunch of fucks, shits, or goddamns and anger. All they're there for is the whiny teenage girl. Oh, oh, I'm going to kill myself because my boyfriend left me. Oh, oh, oh. They're not here to help people with real problems like myself and like I said every time every single time I have talked to the 988 suicide crisis line they have pushed me closer to suicide every time congratulations 988 you should be so proud of yourself when I do kill myself which is inevitable I don't want to do this but when I do, I hope you remember 988. I hope somebody that works for you sees my video and forwards it to all of you. Because you're scum. You are patronizing, condescending scum. You are, I don't know if your volunteers are paid, but you're apparently trying to be public servants to do what? force your fucking worldview on people and and what do you what happens when you call 988 anyhow they listen to you maybe for 20 minutes or so you can call them once a day for 20 minutes is the general rule or guideline because every suicidal problem is deal manageable in 20 minutes and uh, especially legitimate real problems you know that's that's something you can just deal with in, in 20 minutes we can provide you support support they don't offer help they offer support and what is support 
well, they listen to you and, and make sure that you're, you know, that they can check off the checkbox. He's not going to kill himself. Boy, did I have a successful call. I'm really helping people today.